Hello, this is the video walkthrough for tutorial 2.2, creating a drawing sheet format. Okay, so this starts on page 71 in our books. What we'll need to do is go up to New Drawing, and we are going to need to select A Size Landscape, ANSI. If you don't see ANSI, if you see ISO or JIS or something else weird in there, just click there and uh, it should appear. We want to make sure display sheet format is unchecked as well and then hit OK. All right, now we're not going to insert a part, 2D part file in here, so you can go ahead and close that. Uh, you won't need that. Uh, what we are going to do is we are going to create a sheet format. So the first thing we need to do is right click, edit sheet format, and then this takes us into a layer behind the surface of uh, where the part would go. And you know you're there because you can see this button in the upper right hand corner. So we are not on the same exact uh, layer that we were um, a moment ago. So to get started, uh, we are going to draw a border. So I select a center, uh, sorry, a corner rectangle tool. And I want to have this border set in the right spot. So I'm going to select the lower left hand corner. And for my parameters, I'm going to put 0.375 in for my X and 0.375 in for my Y. And that is going to put it 3 eighths of an inch from the left and 3 eighths of an inch from the bottom. Now I can move this and then that'll throw off my X's and Y's. So what I need to do to make sure it doesn't move is I need to click the fix button. And you'll notice that the lines are now black. I'm going to do the same thing to the corner in the upper right hand corner. However, my values for X and Y need to be different because if I use the same values, then that point is simply going to move on top of this point. I'll no longer have a square. I'll have two points on top of each other. Well, I guess four points. So the value for X in the upper right hand corner is 10.625 and the value for Y is 8.125. And again, that puts us 3 eighths from the top, 3 eighths from the right. And fix, and now my lines are black. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make these lines thicker since they're a border. If you don't already have the line thickness option tool down in the lower left hand corner, right click up here in the gray and turn it on right here. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to set the thickness of these lines to 0 0.0276. And that makes my lines a little bit thicker. Okay, now the next thing we have to do is draw the title block in the lower right hand corner. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and flip to page 74 so you can see what we're drawing. Uh, in figure 2.87, that's what we're going to uh, end up with. So this title block, the point of having a title block is to increase your productivity because you don't have to waste your time every single time you're drawing something in SolidWorks. You don't have to waste your time remaking this title block. So what you'll do is every time you make a 2D drawing, you'll just reuse this drawing sheet format. Save you a lot of time. And also increases uniformity in drawings in a company. If everybody in the company uses the same title block, then it's going to be easier to find the information that you need. Okay, so I'm just drawing in these lines here and throwing in these dimensions. When you're drawing these lines, it is extremely important that horizontal lines are horizontal and that vertical lines are vertical and that you do not snap to any line midpoints or endpoints. So if you're drawing and you snap to this midpoint right here, then when you try to go put in a smart dimension, it's going to say it's overdefined and it's going to turn red. If your lines aren't vertical or horizontal, you're going to get an angular smart dimension versus a linear smart dimension. So if you notice it's yellow or you get a degree symbol somewhere, you did something wrong. You must have snapped your line to the wrong spot or you did it vertical or you did it crooked instead of vertical and horizontal. Okay, so I'm just going to finish drawing in these last lines here. Smart dimension this one. 0.75 this one here, 
mark dimension 0.75 and 0.25 okay now these dimensions we don't want those visible but we can't delete them because if we delete them then the drawing will become underdefined and things will be able to be moved so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to view hide show annotations and we are going to select every single one of our dimensions hit escape and then they disappear they're still there but you just can't see them because they're hidden all right now the next thing we need to do is insert our notes for our title block so I'm gonna select the <coughs> annotations tab note tool and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so this is easier and I like to make my notes out in the white space don't change your font um, what I want you guys to do is just change the size to whatever it's supposed to be in whatever it says in the book on figure 2.87 so I'm gonna go ahead and start by putting in Port Clinton High School and then I'm gonna hold the alt key click the text and drag the text into position if I don't hold the alt key what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up getting yellow lines that will snap it to certain locations and it's hard to get it exactly where you want it if you don't hold the alt key okay now I'm gonna do the next one um, all dimensions are inches and degrees and that is gonna be 10 point font And I'm going to hit the return key. Now, when you do this one, uh, or when you do a drawing in metric or millimeters, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to re you're going to have to right click in the white space and go to edit sheet format, and then you're going to have to change this inches here. And then you're also going to want to delete the default tolerances because tolerances are going to be different for metrics so you can just change that all dimensions and degrees are millimeters and then for this you could leave the uh, the angles one there but you'd want to delete all the other stuff because that would be incorrect for millimeters so then this next one is going to be 10 point font um, default tolerances okay alt drag in place another note this one this one's just 0 0.1 0 0.12 0 0.123 and angles okay alt drag drop looks like my text might be a little bit too big yeah it should be 10 Okay, and another note, and this one is going to be plus or minus 0.1. Now, when we get a plus or minus symbol, what we have to do is we have to go over here to the left where it says add symbol, plus or minus, and then 0.1. Add symbol, plus or minus, 0.02. Add symbol, plus or minus, 0.005 add symbol plus or minus two escape escape if you don't hit the escape key after you make a note you probably already noticed but it recreates the note over and over again and then you just have to select it and hit delete it's kind of annoying Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do 8 point font and we're going to type scale. Escape, escape, alt, click, drag, drop. Another note 10 point date. No, I'm sorry, 8 point font. Escape, escape, alt, click, drag, drop. 
So let's line these up. So this time I didn't hold Alt. You can see that little yellow line between date and scale. That way they line up. Looks good that way. Note, size 10, drawn by Oh, drawn by should actually be eight. But then drawn by your name. And for your name, it should all be in caps. And it should be your first initial and your last name. And that won't change. So just go ahead and fill that in. Now, the scale, the date, and the title will change. However, we can have it automatically inserted. So if you go to scale, you double click on it, and you just hit the right arrow key so your cursor moves all the way over to the right and hit the space bar. What we can do is we can link the sheet scale to our text block, uh, text box, uh, I'm sorry, title block. So anytime we change the sheet scale, it'll automatically update right here. So I have my cursor one space away from the colon. I'm going to go up here to where it says link property click this drop down list and I will add in a sheet scale okay and it's one to one then I'm going to do the same thing for the date I'm going to link the date so I'm just going to hit the right arrow key space link short date and then for the title note size 14 link now you may need to change the title depending on what you save your file as because I am going to put the file name as the drawing name so this is drawing 2 on my computer so it's going to save as drawing 2 but I'm only saving the sheet format so this will change when I put my flange drawing in this this drawing too will change okay so that is that now when you save this you have to save it differently so make sure you're paying close attention here you're gonna have to go up to file save sheet format save sheet format not save as save sheet format you'll notice that the destination folder is not in your file server so you're gonna have to go to your file server go to your CAD class and then just save this in um, whatever uh, CAD folder you got. Don't put it in chapter 2 because you're going to be using this for things beyond chapter 2 so just put it in your regular CAD folder so you can get to it easier. I want you to save it as a size template dot SLD DRT and that dot SLD DRT is the file extension for sheet formats and then hit save. Do you want to replace it? Well, you probably don't have one already, so I'm going to replace my old one with my new one. Um, right click and we can go uh, to edit sheet. Okay, now you'll notice that you can't select this stuff anymore. If you need to change it, you have to right click, edit sheet format, and now you can change it. Alright, whoops. Alright, so edit sheet. Can't change it. I just want to hit save one more time. Whoops. Not that save. I'm going to go to uh, save sheet format just to make sure that I saved it in the right spot. And I want you guys to make sure that you saved it in the right spot because if you didn't save it in the right spot, you're going to have to do this all over again. Okay, yep. Yeah, good. I got it saved in the right spot. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to close it. It's going to ask if we want to save it. No, we don't want to save it because it's asking us if we want to save a part drawing we don't want to save a part drawing we wanted to save the file format uh, we already did so don't save alright now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my 2d flange drawing from tutorial 1.2 and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click in the white space well, it looks like I got somebody select something selected so I'm gonna hit escape twice click in the right space properties I'm gonna select standard sheet size I'm gonna browse I'm gonna to go to where I saved that sheet format 
and then I'm going to open my A size template. Open. Okay, make sure display sheet format is checked. Hit OK. And boom, there is my title block now on my 2D drawing. So now all I have to do is move things around so they're not on top of them. Now you'll notice that your note contains pretty much the same information that is in the title block. Therefore, you don't need the note anymore. So what we can do is delete the majority of the note. The only part of the note that we do need is all fillets and rounds are a quarter inch. The rest of the note you can get rid of. Okay, and then here you'll notice that the scale changed from when we originally did the format from one to one to one to two. The reason why it changed is because the sheet scale for this is uh, one to two. You'll also notice that my title is hanging off the edge, and I don't want that to be my title, so I'm going to go edit sheet format. I'm going to drag this over so it's a little more centered. Double click, and I am going to name this. Um, Tutorial 2.1, two, I'm sorry, Tutorial 2.2 .2 Flange. And that should all be in caps. And I'm holding Alt so that I can move it right in the center. Okay, so um, you'll notice that the date is today's date and tomorrow when you open it it'll be tomorrow's date and so on and so forth that'll change um, I'm gonna go to edit sheet and that's gonna make it so I can't change any of this stuff again Now I'm gonna take a look here at my drawing and see if there's anything that I need to move I need to move this flatness symbol down because it's on my border and that is bad um, it's, it's poor practice um, this is pretty close to the border so I'm just gonna move it a little bit not absolutely necessary but um, it's not a bad idea. Center that a little bit more. Maybe move this in just a hair. Yeah, all right. So that looks good. So before you print this off and submit it to me, um, make sure that you have uh, center lines in your section view, no hidden lines in your section view, hidden lines in your top view, center lines in your top view. You have this geometric dimensioning and tolerance symbol for flatness. Make sure you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dimensions. Make sure your scale's right. Make sure your detail B and detail A are correct, that it doesn't say section FF or <coughs> detail Z. Um, and all fillets and rounds are a radius of 0.25. And I also, just for this drawing, I want you guys to make it two decimal places. Um, but for this one it needs to be three decimal places. You'll notice here that my I just noticed my 45 degree dimension has two decimal places. I don't want that to have two decimal places, so I'll show you how to ch manually change that um, just for this one in particular. I'm just gonna go over here to the left and click none, so now it's at 45 and no decimal. If you had multiple angle dimensions on here, you'd want to change them all at the same time, and you could do that by going up to the properties, dimensions. I'm sorry, uh, units, and then changing this angle to none. And that would also remove it from this one and any others. And then you can also, that's the same way that you change from two decimals to three. So you just go up here and units, and you can change however many decimals you want in your length. Okay, so if your drawing matches this one, then you are done and uh, and you're ready to rock and roll moving on to the next tutorial.